Hey guys, this is Average American Kid, and I'm giving a new insider on Call of Duty Modern Warfare 3. So I'm just gonna give a little review on this game. It's pretty tight. So I thought you should guys watch it. You guys should watch this. It's a pretty cool review on Modern Warfare 3. Hope you enjoy. Alright. There's an infamous title everyone loves. All Warfare is based on deception. Let's just skip to the title. Alright, Modern Warfare 3. Awesome game. Love it. So you got Special Ops, Campaign, Multiplayer. Just like everything else, pretty much. Special Ops, Campaign, and Multiplayer. And... What we're gonna do is we're gonna play. We're gonna play some. Uh, let me show you special ops. They have something new here. Now you're gonna have to create a new profile, a load for a profile from your original one. So I'm just gonna choose this really quick. This is my profile. And you have you can find a game. You can play online solo. You could uh, do a private match with your friends, a solo play, a split screen with your friends. Uh, this is just pretty much everything else. So if you choose solo play, you can choose be between survival or mission mode. Now, I um, I haven't played missions, but it's just like Modern Warfare 2, the missions. But there's this new thing on the game called survival mode, which is pretty fun. It's basically you go around maps. You start out with a pistol. It's like zombies, but with humans. And it's probably more easier. And instead of zombies, humans have guns. They start off really easy with like Model 1887s, then it starts to get harder and harder. And uh, yeah, also um, multiplayer. If you get the game right now, you'll notice that um, there are uh, people, if you if you get the game like right now, people are really low levels, so it's really fun. I mean, it's not like you're gonna get schooled by other people. The online experience is pretty awesome. But one of the things I really am mad about is how, um, how when you try to get into a match, basically like um, it's really hard to find one. The server will either like the server will disconnect you from the game, or it will time out. As you see, this will probably happen to me the first time, because uh, usually when I play, the server times out on me, and I get really annoyed and pissed off. Because, uh, I don't know, it's just not fun when you can't find a match to play because the server keeps timing out. But, um, that's, I think that's due because so many people are playing and also because their Wi-Fi or connection is pretty bad. So, um, of course, see this little, this little thing right here? Server connection timed out. Everyone loves this message. If you start the game, uh, you're going to be seeing this message a lot, so that's just a little tip. So um let me let me show you the guns here in this game. Now they have um let me just give you an example. For the primary guns, um you can choose the shotgun. Uh they have all these cuz now secondary you can either be a a machine pistol, a handgun or a launcher. You can't have the shotgun option anymore. And the riot shield is still primary, but this time you have shotgun as primary as well. So the assault rifles, they have uh, the M4A1, the M16, the SCAR, uh, the CM901, the Type 95, the G36C, ACR, MK, AK-47, FAD, and uh, yeah, they're pretty good guns. Uh, of course, for the sub, they have MP5, UMP, everyone's favorite gun. PP90, that's not such a good gun. The P90, the PM9, and the MP7. No Uzi here, you guys. And for the light machine guns, the LA-6, everyone knows that gun, MG-36, that's a new one. So is this one, the PKP, the M-46, that's new also, and the M-60, that's always been around, great gun. And for sniper rifles, we're treated to a Barrett 50 caliber, and this new gun, this is, I guess, the new intervention. Basically, um, yeah, this is the new intervention. I used it, it's, I don't like it. They also have a Dragonov. They have an AS50, I don't know, R, 
SAS MSR. That's probably the best. I've played. I've used the MSR before. Um, I don't like it. I really don't. Uh, you'll notice if you try to aim with the scopes, they're really they're really like a long scope. You know, like it'll it'll, it'll take a while. It, you can't really when you're doing quick scopes and no scopes, it's kind of hard. And uh, the shotguns they use, they have the USAS. That's like a fully automatic shotgun. Here's a pump action, pump action KSG, a SPAS 12, you know that one, AA 12, a Striker, and a Model 1887. I still don't know why they like to put the Model 1887 in this game, because a Model 1887 isn't really a modern weapon, so why would they put it in a game called Modern Warfare 3? I still don't get it. But anyway, the best gun is the SPAS 12. That's, that's what I say. It's just, you know... I don't know. I just really like this fast 12. And then the riot shield, which is pretty effective. And secondary guns. I already showed, well I haven't showed you. You got a FMG9, it's really bad. MP9, that's okay. Scorpion, eh, you know that gun. G18, love it. For the handguns, they have a USP, a P99, MP4, which is basically like a Magnum. This is also a Magnum 44. A 5.7 is just like a USP, just like a little more upgraded, and the Desert Eagle. It's not as phenomenal as I thought it would be. The Desert Eagle looks like a M1911. Really, it does. And it fires kind of like an M1911, just a really big handle. And for the launchers, you have a SMA free fire or vehicle lock on. This is Javelin. Stinger XM. That looks like a assault rifle. Uh, this, this looks pretty interesting. And uh, this right here, RPG, everyone knows that one. These are the only two that we haven't, and this one. This one and these two are the new in, the new ones. So, um, yeah, perks are pretty much the same. You have some really cool perks here. It's kind of like resistance perks. And the death streaks, there are lots of death streaks. And the, um, the strike package. You know, he, what's weird here is you can, for your assault, you actually have to get these kills in order you, without dying, but if you do support, you can get killed, die, just, you know, basically you get the kills, how many kills you can get in the game. If you can get 18 kills in the game, you can get that. Juggernaut Recon is really good. Uh, there's a new thing. There are lots of new things that has been added to this, this game. But um, yeah, this is a really, really cool game. Well, it's a huge facelift for Modern Warfare 2. So uh, yeah, there will be lots of people playing, that's why you can always see the servers, the servers disconnecting because there's way too many people playing this game. So uh, that's my review, thanks for watching and see ya.